After nearly a decade and a half of planning and more than three years of construction, the citizens of Haverhill and Groveland, Massachusetts turned out to welcome a sparkling new Chinbro built bridge over the Merrimack River, a replacement for the century old Bates Bridge, which has reached its life expectancy. One, two, three! It is an opening ceremony put on by the towns of Groveland and Haverhill to kind of kick off the, the opening of the new bridge. It's, it's not the end of the project, but we're putting traffic on it officially for the first time. And the community had asked if they could use the bridge for a couple hours before we put traffic on just to kind of celebrate the new part of the community. For weeks leading up to the ribbon cutting, Chinbro team members had received friendly questions from people coming through town, wondering when the new bridge would open. Citizens were filled with anticipation to see the new bridge in operation to relieve the congestion created by the old Bates Bridge. At last, Chinbro's handling of extreme winter weather, big tidal currents, large crane picks and massive concrete pours had reached an end and the result was pleasing to one and all. Today, and the fact that the bridge has been going along at a very rapid construction pace, even while service has been maintained over the river, is a testament to the fact that this project has been a symbol of collaboration. That first bridge was built in 1916. And I can't tell you how many bridges and roads and other things I'm going around the state that were built well before anybody in this audience was alive. Our grandparents, our great-grandparents gave us infrastructure to improve the economy, to improve the quality of life in Massachusetts, so it's a place that we do want to live, work, and play. And it is our time to invest in ourselves and embrace our generational responsibility to do that all across the state. We all work together independent of any formal district or municipal boundaries and this bridge is a testament to that because we all know on a practical level Haverhill and Groveland and all the cities in the area and the Merrimack Valley are connected. This bridge is a part of it and it is amazing to see so many residents come out today because this is your bridge. I've driven by this old bridge in all the months that this project has been going on in all types of weather and all four seasons. Uh, sheets of ice I've seen dangling from the structures and ice and snow and heavy rains and in every single one of those experiences the men from Timbro company who built this bridge were out here they were dangling from structures they were welding in all types of weather and there's no bridge dedication that could be possible without thanking those men and women who are so dedicated and so professional to build us this beautiful bridge so thank you for that feels good. Um, three years of work, um, real tough first winter, some challenging drilled shafts and other, other things, but uh, outstanding crew. I believe they've enjoyed it. Safety's been excellent. Um, we haven't had to preach, you know, people just come to work, work hard every day. Obviously the company has supported us well with the equipment group and we've got a lot of, not so much now, but we had a lot of barges, a couple cranes. One of the best crews I've ever had. Um, good community, uh, nice people, and uh, first winter was tough. We had a lot of ice and snow we didn't expect, but uh, you can see we got it done. Looks good. Quality is excellent, and uh, we're real proud of our people. Oh, they're great. Every morning in the meetings, you know, they want to know what's going on. They're, they're part of the plan. I don't think the term's used often enough, but they're construction professionals, and they tackle their job that way with, you know, the safety, the production, with the impact on the community, great attitude, looking forward to every day, what's happening next week being you know, part of it, um, they're, they're excellent. Now Chinbro's team is focusing on a new goal, a whole new project is how they see it, and that is the demolition of the old Bates Bridge. The team has an in-water work window that runs from the middle of November to the end of February. That's the only time during the year that crews can disturb the river bottom due to the migrations of the protected fish species, the sturgeon. The job is scheduled for completion around the middle of June 2014. Like any old structure, it's got lead paint on it so there's a lot of preparation before you can really do any of the, the actual removal uh, so we're starting with lead abatement we've got some demolition hammering out the old counterweight for the old bascule span uh, that sort of thing providing access to get to the lead abatement areas and where we're going to be doing the cutting prepping barges for we're going to float out as many of the spans as we can access 
the crew that's here has been here for almost the whole job, you know, three years, and I know that with every right, they're awful proud of what they've done, and I know these guys are looking forward to seeing traffic on it and looking forward to tearing the old one down. I think they had a lot of ownership in this project.